Is this over the top? I don't know. I felt extra. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do the second update for... Wow, what was that? Okay, second update for my, the Graveyard Project Pan collab that I'm doing with a bunch of lovely ladies here on YouTube and Instagram. There's a whole playlist for this project and there are so many videos so you won't get bored for at least a few hours. So this project is mainly created by Emily and then we all just came in with ideas after she presented her idea. So this is the Graveyard Project Pan and it is based on resurrection products and collecting cobwebs. Those are the two categories. Resurrection is products that you had in a project pan before and you didn't finish and then you can work on them now and finish them up basically. Collecting cobwebs are just older products in your collection, close to expire, just want to finish them etc. And I think we are going to let in Felix because he really wants to be near me right now. One moment. He will come if he wants to. Yeah, there he is. Hi, Scott. Scott. He is exploring. He don't come in this room very much anymore because he just destroys everything. He's getting so big. Look at him. Yeah. Oh, he's cute. So, uh, you could choose between 5 to 10 products and I chose 6. I should have chosen 5. Let me just say it like this. So, we started on April 30th. 30th. We did bi-monthly updates and it is ending on Halloween, October 31st. So far I have one empty and I have some nice progress overall, but one empty for four months is not really good, but I'm really excited about this one empty. This is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age The Eraser Eye Perfect and Cover Concealer. Yeah, you know this one. This is the light shade. And it was a little bit too dark for me, so it was perfect here for the summertime. But when I started this project, I was a little bit too light for this light shade. Yeah, so I mixed it in for the first update and I started down here. And first update and then I finished it, so there wasn't much left in this project. Um, so it was really easy to finish. I'm excited have a concealer out. This is an amazing concealer. It really is. It's really really nice but it's not cruelty free. So yeah. Me trying to buy cruelty free stuff is sometimes a struggle. So yeah. The next product I want to talk to you guys about is my Mimi Me Lip Glide in Playful Peach. It is this small crayon kind of lippy. Okay, Felix is out of the room. He was beginning to tell uh, room addresses. Not a good look. <laughs> so he's out of the room. So if he is meowing, I'm sorry. It breaks my heart as well, but it's just not old enough to be a part of this. I have this little nubbin left, but I can't sharpen it anymore um, because I can't grip into it anymore, you know? Well, I can't sharpen it anymore. <laughs> Let's say it like that. I got down to there. So last update, I was up to that line. So I made the same amount of progress since the intro. The product actually goes down to there where the goal is because the goal is lining up to where this peachy plastic is. But as you can see, it is completely hollow. Is that a word? Hollow? Because I scooped out the rest of the product. I was really curious about how much product there was and I just really wanted to see. So today I have applied it with a lip liner, no, a lip pencil, lip, lip brush, that was it, a lip brush. But I think that is the last time I'm going to wear that because I, 
it's not an amazing lip product anyway so i don't know why i would force myself to use the rest of it up this is how much i could scoop out of the <laughs> lip crayon after i couldn't charm it anymore so it is like to take the stopper out of your lip gloss and you have one or two months more a product i feel that about this lip crayon i have struggled so hard to pan this so I, I i'm just going to call it done i'm going to toss this a little bit i know it seems waist full but i don't gravitate towards it um i have had this done for like a month now i have not used this little bit before today where i wanted to wear it for this video so i'm just going to call it done it's done for me i don't want to yeah i know i said one in the beginning but very far you know two empties and i'm going to roll into new items because this is a rolling project pan i know i know i know i know this is a resurrection product um the same with the maybelline concealer and the mimi lip glide i had them in previous projects this is the maybelline new york color elixir lip liker in a lauren coral beautiful orangey coral lip gloss i have it on top of the mimi Me lip glide i have used it a few times since the last update i have no idea why i can't do lip glosses because right now they don't bother me but eh, i think it's the color i thought it was such a cool shade that i wanted one of my friends from um, college bought it for me uh, for my birthday because i really wanted that shade i i kind of regret that now because it's it's a lip gloss I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Then we have my Benefit Hula Bronzer and last time I actually said to you guys I thought it was breaking me out. I have gotten my my skin under control now. It's not breaking me out. Exciting. So I can keep working on this. It is one of my favorite bronzers of all time so I'm really really excited about it. I will insert a picture from last update. It is in the category of collecting cobwebs. I have not had this in a project before, so it is just old. I bought it in like 2014, maybe, in Greece when I went there on a study trip with college. So yeah, this is how much pan there is and I'm really excited about it because this is massive and I love using it. I love bronzing up my chest and my face. I look, I look tanned. And I'm not. <laughs> I love this product. Um, it won't take forever to finish, but I really want this gone. Maybe I'm just going to call it quit uh, by the end of the year because I have so many bronzers in my collection. But I really, I'm really excited that it doesn't break me out. I'm excited. Then we have the Rimmel London Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer Eyeliner in 212 Rich Brown. It is this retractable eyeliner right here and this is how much i have left in the eyeliner i have n i don't think i can finish this in two months i don't think i can because i don't go through eyeliners apparently <laughs> but i really focused on it for like a month or so and i only got down to there i have no idea why that is i used it so much and there's like no progress what is happening i have no idea and that was a collecting cobwebs because that is getting old as well this is also getting old this is the <laughs> mac pro long wear concealer so this is also collecting cobwebs category it is in nw15 this is my perfect shade it, it looks dark right i think it looks dark but it is actually pretty light when it comes out it is a perfect concealer for me right now when i have a bit of a tan not a much not much but a bit so it, i thought it was really really dark but it's really not so i'm excited i will insert a clip or a photo or something uh, so you can see the progress. I don't think there is much because I haven't used it a ton. The last few weeks I have used it when I was going to use concealer. So maybe it is. And I use a powder pump uh, because I use it around my face for some acne scarring. Scarring, you know, from uh, pimples and whatnot. So I use it around my face to brighten up uh, in the center of my face and under my eyes and stuff like that. So I use quite a bit of concealer. But I only use that concealer, so it's okay. 
I am going to add in two items for the concealer and the lip glider. They are both resurrection products because I had them in projects this year actually. This is the W7 Strobe and Go Strobing Stick in Moonlight. I was working on this hardcore in the panning games that I ended in June. So yeah, I only have this little bit left, but it's actually only this much that's left. So I think I can use this in two months. I actually think I can. And I really want to focus on it when it's still a little bit warm outside. The summer is kind of here and there. That's just September, uh, August, September in Denmark. But I really want to knock this out before I go to layer myself up again in sweaters. And then we have the Imitate Makeup Lip and Cheek Tender, I believe it was called. Um, so I had this in my drop tent before summer, I believe. And I also had it in the lip service last year, I believe. Or maybe it was Destination Pan. It is down to here. About there, so I will mark it after this video. I actually think I can finish it in two months if I use it every single day underneath my lip product. And maybe we apply it throughout the day. Oh yeah, and I also use it on my cheeks. I haven't in the last few months, but I have used it on my cheeks as well as a cream blush. It's actually really nice. It's Or maybe it's like a cheek stain. It's really nice for that. And it actually looks kind of natural and decent on the lips and on the cheeks. Even though it's like a red color, it is that color. Um, a little bit lighter and a little bit more pink when you share it out. But it's really nice. So I'm excited. I think I can finish that. That was everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really excited to roll in two new items to this project. Even though the finale is next time and that is insane. But it's two months away. So I think we're fine. I hope you guys enjoyed and check out Emily if you haven't already and the other ladies down below. There will be a playlist as I said in the intro. It's really really awesome to watch everyone's videos. I have been binge watching them. I am a little bit late to this update. It's fine. The ladies know. The ladies know. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video, please take care. Bye.